I have done a video on how to add, set, and verify that you have the correct display ICM or ICC profile set up in Windows 10. However, one of my follower, Lee, have mentioned that if you've just followed my method there, you may not necessarily be setting up the correct gamma information for the operating system and the apps you use. So in this video, I'm going to show you a more complete method on how to add, set, and verify your ICC and ICM profile, including the gamma information too. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. So the previous video that I'm alluding to is this one, how to add, set, and verify display ICM and ICC profile in Windows 10. I have the ad going and I'm not going to show you that video, but the method that I'm going to show here is going to be very similar. Also, for this particular computer and display combination, I am using BenQ PD3220U. This is their pro design display. It is a software calibration only, but this method will also work for a hardware calibrated display. So if you have a BenQ SW, this will also work for that or any other displays you may have, including a built-in laptop display. I've calibrated this display using i1 Profiler along with the i1 Display Pro Plus, and I already have a profile set up. So, simply enough, go right-click on the desktop and display setting. This will pull up the display setting dialog as you see here. I already have the profile set, but what I'm gonna do here is scroll down and choose Advanced Display Setting. From here, I will click on Display Adapter Property for Display 1. It will pull up this dialog here. It looks like a driver dialog. I will click on Color Management and go into Color Management. So what I have set up in here is my BenQ profile. If I want to go in and add a profile, I can just simply come and click Add below and choose another profile. Let's say I want to add sRGB into here. So I can do that. And if I want to set this as a default, I can say Set as Default Profile. What I'm going to do is make the BenQ the default profile. So now that I have this set, you would think that everything should be good, right? And for the most part it is, but there is a part that isn't. So you want to make sure that use my setting for this device is set up and it will be set up the moment you have an ICC profile added to here. But what you also want to do is come and click on advance. In advance, what you're going to notice right here under display calibration is that use Windows Display Calibration is not checked. If yours is not checked, you want to make sure that that's checked, but there is no real way to do it right now because that option is grayed out. So what you're going to do is simply click on Change System Default. This will pull up a dialog that looks very similar to the dialog that came before it, which is really confusing. So right now, I have the BenQ ICC profile already loaded in here, which is good. I'm going to go on the third tab, Advanced, and click on Use Window Display Calibration. The moment I do that, I will notice that my screen color shift a little bit right away. I am going to close this out. And the moment I close that out, back in the Color Management dialog, Use Window Display Calibration has already been checked and it is still grayed out. So if you come in and verify that this is checked, you're good. That means that Window Operating System or Windows 10 is going to use the gamma information from the ICC profile and the program will be using it too. If this is unchecked, just follow the step that I just showed earlier. This is pretty much how you would go in and set the display profile for your system in Windows 10. So I hope that you find this little quick tip on how to completely set up the color management in Windows 10 helpful. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload cool new guides like this. And until next time, art is right.